Hey guys. Hey. What's up? Sometimes you only hear the truth from friends. Hey Rach, uh, do you notice anything? Yeah, uh... your teeth? Yes, I saw them from outside. <laughs> When subtlety is a casualty in the quest for self-improvement, when a satisfied smile looks more like a Cheshire grin, the blame these days goes to bad design. The artistry in modern dentistry is in a smile that's hardly noticed. We made the central teeth a little bit longer than the laterals, which is... Miami dentist Todd teeth. Barsky but says when a patient yeah, tells him his work's been ignored, like he's pleased. She's like, Todd, I love it, but my friends and family haven't said anything. They Nobody said, noticed. They said, you did something, but we don't know what you did. And I said, that's the greatest compliment you can give me. As you'd expect at a clinic calling itself the Institute for Age Management and Intervention, Barsky's dental practice sees patients wanting more than just a drill and fill. I have many patients that come in, and they tell me, I want... And a makeover. I want this. I want white teeth. But we have to step back and we have to have a discussion because I kind of look at myself as the architect. The architect of what? The architect of the smile. This is not cheap construction. It can cost as much as $3,000 to have a custom made veneer of fingernail thin porcelain fitted to a single unsightly tooth. And even a smirk can reveal six teeth worth improving each one requiring a precise calibration of shape and color to improve on nature inconspicuously. We look at nature, nature is not perfect. So I try to create symmetrical restorations and symmetry between the left and right sides. So I like to call my restorations natural symmetry. Imperfect. Imperfections is what's natural. If we make things too perfect, to me that looks too fake. The thought of deliberately designing in physical flaws, of paying to achieve cosmetic imperfection, may seem unappealing, especially if you're the sort who feels nature's already given you that in abundance for free. Like that. Okay. Can you now bite together? Good. In New York, Jason Kim has more than 30 years' experience as a dental ceramist, crafting veneers and false teeth for patients convinced they want a perfect, thousand watt smile who now must be taught they don't patient can achieve a whiter color but it still looks very natural natural means that it reacts on different light environment so this patient will go outside will have a nice white great white teeth this patient will go to the bar dim light will tone it down From a palette more pink and gray than pearly white, Kim adds translucence to his porcelain forgeries, baked at over a thousand degrees to imperfection. This part is a science, but for ceramists, it's a lot of artistic part goes in there also. It's the sort of artwork Miami patient Rita Otrajki, with a whole new smile, considers perfect. People don't believe I have veneers. They think I just had whitening done. And they ask me, and I'm like, oh, the Rima, you had your teeth whitened. That looks great. And then I don't say anything because I'm like, they're not going to believe me. That's another one of the things I love about my job is giving people their smiles back.